Hello, fellow educators. I'm very excited to um, be talking with you this evening. I just got finished with an amazing lounge and learn session tonight. Um, so while I'm all pumped up and ready to go, um, I thought I would bring to you our RTI Tip Tuesday, tip of the week. Um, each Tuesday, I'm going to be bringing information to you in regards to RTI, something very short, sweet, simple that you can take and you can immediately roll with in your um, school or your classroom. My name is Tiffany Clymer and I'm with Encompassing Education. I focus on the area of RTI and I'm excited today to talk to you about the importance of documentation. If you have ever attended anything that I've been um, providing session-wise for RTI, you're going to hear me say over and over and over again, documentation is vital. It, it's like I'm beating a dead horse because by the time I'm done, I'll have said it 15 times. But I cannot stress enough, with your RTI program, in order for it to be successful and for your students to be getting the best of what you have to offer, you have to be documenting everything. Not only do you need to be documenting what you're doing with your students, but you also need to include why you were initially concerned with that, what the baseline data was so that you know where you started. You also need to incorporate some goal setting. So you're going to want to document that information so that you know where the students started, what you're going to do with them, and where you want them to be by the end of the time that you have to work with them. It seems very simple, but I'm going to tell you the paperwork or that, that paper trail, be it an actual piece of paper or a virtual path, is one of the easiest things to just say, well, I'll do that later. You cannot do that. You have to make sure that you stay up to date on all of that paperwork, otherwise your efforts are really for nothing. Um, you'll find yourself at the end of a session and think, ah, oh, I never wrote that information down. And it's not that you were trying to be naughty, it's just that life in the classroom is crazy. So you have to make sure that you are diligent with that data tracking piece. Find what works for you. If you're a binder person, put it in a binder. Um, it, I was a binder person until I wasn't because then I suddenly realized that I had like 15 binders with this really cool plan but then never did anything with it. So find what works for you. If you like a clipboard, keep it on a clipboard. If you know that every day on Thursdays you have an extra 30 minutes that you can stay after school to do it, do it then. Find what works for you, but make sure that you're documenting your efforts. Give yourself credit for what you are doing with your kids. You're all doing really amazing things, but for some reason, teachers don't like to give themselves credit for all the fantastic things they're doing in the classroom. So make sure that you're documenting what you're doing with those, those kiddos, especially if you are going to be passing that information to whoever their teacher is for next year. That documentation is going to be what's going to allow me to get to know that student before I actually meet that particular student. That's going to be information that is going to be huge in allowing me to hit the ground running from that very first day of school for next year. So remember, documentation is key, guys. If you have any questions at all, feel free comment on this um, Facebook Live video. I will be um, checking back in with that and I will answer any questions that you might have. Thank you so much. Have a great night, everybody.